Hey guys! Today CFTs launched their third tall tale from the Monkey Island Tall Tales, The Lair of Luchuk. In this video we'll guide you through this tale and collect all the 10 Herman's notes, 5 Luchuk's logbooks and 10 memoir spots. So you can complete all the commendations and unlock the Burning Blade Cutlass, Luchuk Portrait, Mighty Pirate Title and the Monkey Island Shanty, so all the cosmetics that come with them. To start the tale you'll need to visit Kate who can be found at the capsized charters on any outpost. The book lies next to the books of the previous tall tales. When you start the tale, Kate will start her story and the pirate lord will open the portal once again. But this time he'll bring you to Monkey Island instead of Melly Island. He'll open the portal nearby the closest archway. So get on your ship and sail through it. Once you're done traveling through the Tunnel of the Damned, you'll spawn at Monkey Island where you can dock your ship at the northwest side from the island with the front of the ship pointing in this direction. We'll show you later in the video why it has to be standing in this position. Get on the island and walk across the coastline to the east until you find the black pearl on your right in the sea. Make sure to talk to everyone on the ship to unlock one of the commendations. Now you must find Guybrush. Get on the island, follow the coastline to the north and pass the shipwreck. You can find the first note of Herman next to it. Then keep on following the coastline and at the start of the path you can find the second note on your right. Now follow the path until you meet Guybrush and Spiffy. When he stops talking the map will be added to your quest book. But before you head back and start searching the three idols and key, make sure to not forget to check the first memoir. It is on the rocks at your left. Now return to the Black Pearl and head over to Herman's camp. You can find it on your map. From the Black Pearl on, you'll have to follow the coastline until the banana tree. On your right, you'll find the third note. Turn around and behind the banana tree you can find the second memoir. Then follow the path until you reach Herman's camp. Then go to Herman and talk to him. Not for a commendation, only because he's funny. You can find Herman's logs on the wooden crate at your right. This will update your quest book. You will discover Herman's jobs, more Herman's jobs, even more jobs and Herman's final jobs. For the first one, you'll have to find soup in the ravine. You'll need it to make Herman's trap work. This way you can also complete the commendation where you have to trap Herman in it. So we'll start with this task. In the ravine you can find Herman's supply cache. But to open it you'll first need the key. If you look in your quest book you'll see that there are four wooden carvings. A parrot, a pig, a monkey and a chicken. Head over to the north and follow the path. First you'll find the pig. The key is hidden in one of those carvings, so keep searching in all four of them until you find it. From the pig, you go to the northeast where you'll find the parrot. Then go to the northeast and follow the path until you find a monkey statue. Then go to your right, follow the path until the next monkey statue. 
in front of you, you'll find a monkey carving. Check for a key. If you didn't find one yet, get back to the monkey statue and follow the path to the south. At the fist statue, go to the left. And there you will find the chicken carving. Now you should have found the key in one of the carvings. In our case, it was hidden in the parrot carving. Now pick it up and get back to Herman's camp. But before we continue with this, we'll show you where you can find the third memoir. Go to the north from the camp. Go to the left before the bridge. Follow the path until you reach the small rock at the dead tree. When you found it, return to Herman's camp. Once there, take the key and head over the path in the northeast from the camp. At the end of the road, you can get down in the ravine by the ladder. At the end of the ravine, you'll find the supply cache. Open it and go inside. On your right, you'll find the fourth note. Now grab a bottle of chilled banana soup and return to Herman's camp. Put the soup in the trap. Then a monkey will appear and steal the soup. Herman will check the trap and stand into it. Now pull the string so you will capture Herman. This will unlock a commendation. Now tug the monkey trap until he drops his key. The Herman's chest key. Open the chest in his camp. Now you'll find Herman's rowboat map. This will update your quest book. It will add a map where you will have to find the oars of his rowboat. If you want to complete this part first, you'll need to head back to the pig. So follow the path to the north northwest, go to the left, and when you find the pig, follow the path with the smelly strange flowers. Here you will find the first monkey. Don't follow his direction he points at and go northwest. There you will find the next monkey statue. Pass the two barrels until you reach his broken ladder. Then go to the west. Along the road you will find the fifth note from Herman. Keep on following the path until you see the sea monkey's flag. Go to the left where you'll find his old boot. Reach inside and now you'll find the pages that are added to your quest book to find the oars. Now get back to the flag of the sea monkey. Go northwest where you'll find the first grog barrel. From this barrel you can also see the two other barrels. The one that doesn't knock you off your feet is in the northeast. It can vary where you need to dig. You might have to dig near a fence or near his clothes. Follow the path to the water where you can find his clothes on the right. For the fence, you will have to cross the river and dig next to it. Make sure to discover the fort memoir. It's in the middle of the fence and the clothes. Now pick up the oars and put them on the rowboat. Push the rowboat into the water and follow the river. You'll find a skeleton hanging in a tree. Before you go there, hop out of the rowboat to the right side. Here you can find the sixth note of Herman. Now get 
back into the rowboat and paddle underneath the hanging skeleton and take the buried idol map. It will be added to your quest book. But before you continue, make sure to not forget to get the fifth memoir. You can find it in the tree in front of you. Now we can continue on finding the idol. In our case, you'll need to find the fist statue. But this can vary. There are different places like a banana tree at the beach where you might need to dig. But for us, it is a fist statue. You can find it nearby the ravine and the chicken carving. Now dig! And you will find the first golden monkey idol. There are three in total to find. Pick it up and bring it to the big monkey hand. You can reach it easily by following the way the monkey statues point. So put it on the giant hand. To find the second golden monkey idol, you'll have to head over to the northwest from the giant hand to the river where we took the rowboat. Climb up to the cliff and once you're up you'll find the seventh note of Herman. Now turn around where you can find the sixth memoir. You'll also find the primitive art. You'll have to turn it to the southern direction. You can see the big monkey statue that you'll need to hit with the boulder. Then climb up the cliff once more. Get on the edge of the rocks where you can find the seventh memoir. Now pick up a boulder and put it on the cross. This way the mechanism will start and the boulder will be thrown at the big monkey statue. So the second golden monkey idol will fall down. But before you go there and collect it, you'll have to turn the primitive art in the direction of your ship. So this is the reason why you had to park your ship in this spot. Climb back up and put another boulder on the cross. If you've parked your ship correctly, the boulder will hit your ship and another commendation, whoops, will be unlocked. Also keep in mind that this boulder makes an actual hole, so you have to repair your ship if you don't want to sink. But that's not all. Before you go downstairs, make sure to turn the primitive art in the south direction. It's nearby the smoke of Herman's camp. Get back up, put a boulder on the cross and push it again. This time the boulder will hit the banana tree and this will unlock the commendation No Fruit Picker Required. Now that's done, use a zipline to get back down. Then go south by southwest until you find the second golden monkey idol. Pick it up, go back to the giant monkey hand by following the monkey statues again and put it on the giant hand. For the last idol you'll have to go to the west of the island all on top of the volcano to Herman's stockade. When you reach the sun tan spot, you'll have to jump into the water, where you can collect the sun tan oil. You'll need it later on. Pick it up and keep on following the path up.
put the oil at the door of his stockade. Look on the map where you can find the location of the key. Return to the river with the waterfalls. Jump into the water and look underneath the rocks in the right spot until you find Herman's stockade key. It can be hidden at different locations that you can find back on the map. Pick up the key and open the door. You'll find Herman's 8 note on the table. You'll also find an empty jar in the closet and the recipe book. You'll need to make the recipe for banana grease. Read it and take it so it will be added to your quest book. You'll need this grease to fix the broken cannon that you can find in the stockade. So read the recipe and add the missing ingredients to the stew. You'll have to blacken 3 bananas on the stove. You can find the bananas in the cannon barrel. The planks you need to put on the fire can be found in a barrel with planks. Once you're done, add them to the cooking pot. Now get a coconut shell by following the path across the waterfalls at the cannon. You can find it in the closet. Pick it up and put it in the pot. The other coconut shell can be found in a crate in the stockade. Also add it to the pot. Now add the suntan oil you found before. Now the grease is ready. Take the empty jar and fill it with banana grease. Put the jar aside and use the pulley to open the shutter. Now pick up the jar and grease the antique cannon. Push the cannon, load the cannonball and aim to the mast that holds the third and last idol. Use the zipline to go back down. You'll find the ninth note of Herman at your left on a rock. Go to the broken mast and climb some rocks where you can find the tenth and last note of Herman. Open the cage with the skeleton. Leave Goldtooth Skull for now, we'll need it later on. Pick up the gunpowder gummy and place it on the other cage. Now go all the way back to the shipwreck. Remove the bars in front of the closets and search for the monocle in the cereal boxes. Once you found it, Pick it up and take it with you to the Black Pearl. Get on the Pearl and search for Captain Coco who's sitting on the wheel. Promote him to Admiral Coco by placing the monocle on him. Pick him up and bring him to the tree stakes on the beach with all the furniture. It's near the Black Pearl. First remove the weathered skull and put him on the middle stake. Now go from Admiral Coco back to the Black Pearl and raise a spyglass stand. Search for the old spyglass by following the footsteps and the bananas on the ground. Then pick it up 
and place it on the stand. Now walk along the coastline in the southwest direction until you come across another spyglass stand. Raise it and when you look through it you'll see that this one shines on the banana tree and another spyglass standard. When you go there and use this spyglass you'll see the tree stakes with three skeleton heads on. Get back to the stockade and take the banana grease with you. Return to the tree stakes and use the grease to get the skull off the middle stake. Now go back to the mast, keep on following the southeast side until you find the rope in a tree. Cut through the rope and Herman's supply crate will drop down. Pick it up and bring it to the tree stakes. Put the three coconut shells on the middle stake. Now get back to the mast and pick up Gold Tooth Skull. Bring him to the tree stakes and place him on the middle one. This way the light will shine on his golden eye and tooth which will cause an explosion by shining on the gunpowder gummy. Get back to the cage and pick up the third golden monkey idol. Bring it to the big monkey hand and place it on it. Now you will receive the cotton swap key. Pick it up and head back to Guybrush. Guybrush will open the gate. Before you go on, make sure not to forget to sit on the crate on the right. This is the 8th memoir. Now put the cotton swab key in the ear of the giant monkey head. Wiggle it until the gate by his mouth opens. You will receive the head of the navigator. It will guide you through the catacombs. When you enter the catacombs, you can go down. The ninth memoir is on your right. Pick up the head and follow the directions it gives to you. The head might send you sometimes to the wrong direction, but this seems to be completely normal. Just keep on following it. And don't go too fast, otherwise Guybrush might bug. If he can say his lines, he will follow and everything goes well. If he would get stuck, you can always jump into the lava so he can respawn and continue the way. When you reach the first lava pool, you'll find the first journal on your left. Then keep on following the head again, so you'll find the second journal on your left. You can see the third from here also. Now go over there, it's in the room with a big skull. The next journal is closed when Guybrush starts to talk to a green skeleton head. Keep on following the head until you find a fort on your left nearby a lava waterfall. Now keep on following the head straight forward until you find the fifth one.
all the journals can be found in the catacombs before Guybrush picks up someone's journal. So make sure you don't miss them. Again, keep on following the head until you reach a big waterfall. Jump down, then take the slide and follow the head again. Follow the head until you reach LeChuck's ship. You can find the tent memoir in front of it. Now hand over the head back to Guybrush. A cinematic will start and when it's done, get on Elaine's ship and start sailing behind LeChuck. You have to handle the ship yourself like you have to control your own ship. Then the battle will start. You have to destroy LeChuck's ship three times. You can do this by shooting root beer cannonballs. Then the ship is defeated. LeChuck will take Elaine with him. Corina will show up and teleport you to Melly Island. When you look to the added pages to your quest book, you'll see you'll have to go to the church. When you'll enter the church, a cinematic will start. Afterwards, the fight with LeChuck will start. He spawns from the church to the scum bar at three different places. You'll fight him with insults and retorts. You have to defeat him by answering him three times with the right retort. If you reply to him with the right retort, you can fight him with your sword until he says another insult. So it goes on until he has spawned on three different places. At the end, you will defeat him by using root beer. The final cinematic will start and then all that's left is to sail back to the Sea of Thieves through the archway. Then the tale will be completed. So this was our guide to the third tall tale of Monkey Island, the lair of LeChuck. Now you should have earned every commendation, have found all the five logbooks, discovered all the ten notes of Herman and found all the ten memoir spots. We hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Shiver me timbers! Yarr.